Dear viewers, today we will learn the practical of study of Sycon, Hyronema and Spongula from specimens. Aim of the practical is to study Sycon, Hyronema and Spongula from specimens. Introduction Poriferins are commonly referred to as sponges. The surface of the sponge is perforated by millions of minute pores through which the water current bringing food and oxygen enters the sponge body. Therefore, porifera that is in Latin porous is pore and fair is to bear. The name is given to this phylum by Robert E. Grant in 1836 means pore bearers and refers to the porous structure of the body with numerous surface opening. General Characters The sponges possesses the following unique features in which they differ from other animals. These are sedentary, aquatic animals, mostly marine, solitary or colonial multicellular organism. Body grows various shapes, mostly plant-like radially symmetrical or asymmetrical. Some have definite shape as an example Euplectella. The surface of the body is perforated by numerous minute inhalant apertures the ostia to admit a water current which after circulating through a canal system inside the body passes out through one or more larger exhalant openings, the oscula. The canals inside the body are linked by flagellated collar cells or coenocytes. The food particles present in water current are taken by these cells. They are the most primitive metazoans but a metazoan type of digestive system. They rely entirely on intracellular digestion. Nervous system and sense organs are also absent in them. Reproduction is both by sexual or asexual means. Asexual reproduction takes place by budding or by specialized cell called gemmules. Gemmules develop into new sponges during favorable conditions. Life cycle includes ciliated free swimming larva called amphiblastula or parenchymula. Sponges show greater power of regeneration. Approximately 5000 living sponge species are classified in the phylum Porifera, which is composed of three distinct groups. The calcarea that is calcareous sponges, the hexactenilida that is glass sponges, the desmospongia. Class 1 calcarea or calcispongi that is in Latin calcareous limi. All marine shallow coastal water species comparatively simple in structure. These include the sponges with skeleton all calcareous spicules. Examples are Sycon, Leucosolenia, Clathrina, Scypha, etc. Sycon or Scypha. Classification Phylum is Porifera, Class is Calcarea, Order is Heterocela, Genus is Sycon or Sica. External features Sypha, formerly called Sycon or Grantina. It is solitary or colonial marine sponge found attached to the rocks in shallow waters. These are found in abundance near North Atlantic shores. The body of the sponge is covered externally by a thin dermal epithelium or ectoderm. The surface of the sponges appeared smooth on the naked eye. It is vase-shaped cylindrical body measuring about 
15 to 30 millimeter in length. This asexually reproducing animal give out one or two basal or lateral tubular outgrowths of body wall called buds, thus looking like a branching tree. The color of the sponges shows different shades of gray or light brown according to the habitats and the species. Skeleton comprises of calcareous spicules of monaxon, trioxon and tetraxon type. In Sycon, spongocele contains several small and radially arranged cavities of three types, flagellated canals, excurrent canals and incurrent canals. Body surface contains numerous pores called ostea or incurrent pores. Water enters the body via ostea and enters the incurrent canals from where it passes into radial canals through prosopiles. From radial canals, water enters the excurrent canal through apopiles. Then water reaches to spongocele through the gastral ostea and passes out by osculum. Osculum is encircled by a fringe or monoxone spicules. Nutrition is holozoic. Here, respiration is aerobic. Special organs of respiration are lacking. Oxygen dissolved by water is obtained externally through pinacocytes or internally by coenocytes. Nervous system probably absent. Reproduction takes place by both asexual that is budding and regeneration and sexual by ova and sperms. Fertilization is internal and the ova or eggs are fertilized in situ. Class 2 is hexactenylida or hylospongiae. Here in Greek hex is 6 actions rays and in Latin Ella is diminutive, idiosis form. Hexactinylida means glassy six red siliceous spicules. These are mostly deep sea species. Skeleton of six red or triaxone siliceous spicules separate or fused. Examples are the glass sponges that is Euplectella, Hylonema, etc. Hylonema. Classification. Phylum is Porifera. Class is Hexactinylida. Order is Amphidiscophora. Genus is Hylonema. External features are This is commonly known as glass rope sponge. It is found along New England coast. Hylonema is a marine form found 10 to 15 meters deep in sea in some localities and is about 40 centimeter long. Body is variable in form but usually rounded or oval and radially symmetrical. Apparently it looks like a ball of glass wool with projecting tufts of glassy spicules. Small branching and fibrate spicules extend from all over the body. Besides six rayed spicules, large and small amphidisc like those of freshwater sponges are also formed. Root spicules are compact, stalk like and twisted giving the appearance of a rope. It is made up of a bundle of very long monectin incurring spicules. The roof tuft also transverses the body as an axis or columella and often projects above as the gastral cone. Middle part of columella has symbiotic polyps. Class 3 Desmospongiae. Here in Greek, demos means people and spongos means sponge. 
they are mostly marine but a few fresh water skeleton of siliceous spicules pongin fibers both of this or neither examples are cleona spongilla etc now we will see spongilla classification is phylum is porifera class is desmospongiae order is haplosclerina genus is spongilla external features are it is richly found in ponds lakes and slow stream growing on submerged sticks and plants spongilla is probably the best known of freshwater sponges they are usually yellow brown or green in color from the presence of unicellular algae zooclorellae living in the tissue colony is profusely branched structurally the canal system of the spongilla is regon type several small apertures of dermal pores of ostia are scattered over a very thin dermal membrane overlying large subdermal cavities from here water flows through incurrent canals to numerous small rounded urifilous flagellated chambers hence through excurrent canals to sponge seal and finally through a large osculum to outside the skeleton of spongilla consists of siliceous spicules in form of network of smooth or spiny large and small oxyes that is curved monoxons embedded in the spongin fibers reproduction both sexual and asexual asexual by gemmules and sexual through an unusual free swimming larva characteristic of spongilla summary now let us summarize this topic in this topic we have talked about the phylum porifera it is composed of three distinct groups the calcarea that is the calcareous sponges the hexactenellida that is glass sponges and the desmospongia we also converse various types of classes and its general characteristics with suitable examples like sicon hylonema spongilla under porifera phylum thank you